All right, what's going on? It's Bobby Skinner talking Giants doing a draft film breakdown on the A-plus wide receiver LSU's Malik Neighbors. Doing this on the Talking Giants channel because I think that he's like the most likely option for the Giants at six right now, so I wanted to put it on here. Man, this guy's fun to watch. He's just able, he's a special athlete that's just able to win at every single level of the field, right? We're going to see like these deep passes that are playing on the highlights right now. I think his ability to stop and, and make speed cuts, you know, use head fakes, just allows him to uncover at every single part of the field. And then he has the yak ability, right? He has the nice catches. He's basically like, he's got some things he needs to clean up overall, but it's just so minor stuff to where this guy is just a flat out A plus come in, com, you know, contribute as a star right away type of player. So let's get into it. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. We'll have all types of draft content coming out. All right, first play, we're going to go through these slot fades. So obviously he's here in the slot. Right, and you see how he's able to temple, tempo and then separate. We're starting outside the hashes. And just these little subtle movements, right? This little bam, right? We're tempoing this route. We're not giving our route away. And then plant the foot. He's got, you know, he's still facing the line of scrimmage, the DB. Temp, you know, get good tempo, bam, plant your foot, and then watch him just run past. And then on top of that, make a nice tough grab, right? Back shoulder. Six for LSU. I'm just watching in full speed. Da, 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 da. Bam, go, go, separate, separate, separate. Good concentration, touchdown for Malik Neighbors. Again versus Mississippi State. I mean, we're just running past cats, right? This time we're hitting them with more speed. This is actually a fourth down too. We're hitting them with speed and then we hit them with this speed cut right here. We keep an inside track, right? It's subtle. See how we're outside the hash? We're working to the inside of the hash, right? We get this corner's hips open and then bam. Plant your foot, go, run past him. Easy money, touchdown Malik Neighbors. Here versus Texas A&M. It's the setup that what's really makes it good, right? Because hey, he's, he's going to be able to run past people in college, but he's able to set DBs up. We press into this DB. We hit this little stutter, right? Like we got a two-way option, you know, choice route. Can go any way. Keep this DB on his heels. Bam, go. And then just the acceleration, unmatched, right? Unmatched. You lost. You've lost at this point when you're facing Malik Neighbors. Ball's put on his back shoulder. Go up. Get. I wish I could get the better view of these because, you know, from the end zone angle, but LSU's cameraman stinks. Sorry if you're watching this LSU cameraman. Here versus Alabama, you're going to have this corner playing off. You got this middle field safety. Set it up, right? Makes a tough grab. Again, set it up. Now, this DB is playing off and it should be, right? And he's backpedaling. So this doesn't work as well. Because you're throwing the stutter right at the shards. And he's actually he's like protecting deep, like right? You know, maybe a DB who trusted his, you know, his long range would want to try and make a play on this. But he's he's wanting to protect himself deep. But still, like, that's not separation. But you just get great ball tracking over the shoulder, right? So it's just, it's hard to cover a guy that even when you do things the right way, well, guess what? He's making a tough catch over the shoulder. It's just it's just hard to cover, and you know this is this is just going over the deep plays, right? We got to hit all the other stuff here versus Bama again. Now this time ends up being a bad ball thrown, so there's no catch. But tempo, set it up, but it go, go. You've got him in, I mean, sprinting and running, and you're still running past him. No catch on this one. Here you're going to get up the seam. I think a bad defensive call by Alabama to leave the middle of the field like this. But still. 
Neighbors works an outside track. And then just that little speed cut, right? We're tempoing, 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 bam, and just you see him fly. I mean fly. I mean watch watch as we're tempoing. Go. And it's just another speed. It's another gear, right? And you can just play head games with the DB when you can move like that. Here doesn't get the throw to his way. You know, the throw hit. Right? We want to work. We want to challenge him vertically, get his hips open. Speed cut, bam. We're open. Ball doesn't come our way. Here versus Mississippi State, we're going to work some stutter go. Right? And we're going to see how he's able to you know, win on those hitches and curls because he's just a, his ability to stop on a dime, which means when a guy can stop on a dime on this, well, you got to respect it or you're going to give away these easy throws, right? When you're playing from this off coverage because he's just able to just stop, right? So DB's got to respect it. And just watch how it's all just so smooth, right? A lot of guys on these, they can even win double moves where it's like, da 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 got to give a head fake. No, just little stutter and then... We're going at full speed. We're gone. Gone. Out of here. Out of here. Ball thrown in front of him. It's a touchdown. Instead, it's just a big play. It's over the shoulder. Mike DB plays good outside leverage on this. A little stutter. Allows neighbors to get to this. To the outside of him. And you will see from the other angle. Just makes a nice, nice grab. Just ability to track the ball. Work some hand fight. Catch it over the shoulder. Almost a touchdown. And this isn't like in the same vein, but it's just how he's do the respect, right? See this release. We're trying to win this leverage versus this corner. And then see how this little bam right there. That double step. Gets this corner's uh in leverage inside. We work up vertically. Now he's got to protect, you know, he's got to respect us vertically. We hit back shoulders. I mean, again, he's just a do-it-all type of receiver. So he's able to attack down the field really well. Now let's go through some of the other parts of his game because you can't win solely winning slot fades. Uh, I think he every route he does well. right? And he may have not got a lot of production on other routes because of quarterback play, because of offense. But you see him here, right? We're going to run this little in route. 12-yard dig. Good release. Da da bam, go. And at the top of the route, just able to get flat. Challenge vertically, get flat. Catches the ball away from his chest, and immediately tries to plant his foot and go and get some yak too. Which we're going to talk about the yak. There's a whole different element to his game with that too. Here versus Florida, he's not going to get the throw on this one. But he's wide ass open, and he should get the throw on this, right? We've got a we've got a corner working outside leverage, right? So we're gonna work an outside track. We're gonna work into him. See how we got tempo in our route, and then at the top of the route, right? Bam, plant. I mean, we're wide ass open, right? We're throwing our hands up, type of open, and. The fun part about watching Jaden Daniels is there's a good amount of times where like, man, how did you not throw this? And then he turns it in to this. Here versus Bama. And he's not going to get the throw on this one either, but it's very similar. Are you going to be able to see the foot jab a little better? Again, outside leverage corner. We're working outside. And you just see him plant that foot, right? Plant off that right foot. No wasted movement. Not a bunch of steps to gather yourself. And go. 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 Ball gets thrown to the hitch on the outside. Here in motion. Right, we got this first zone. We tempo it, right? We don't want to we don't want to outrun. Our quarterback's progressions. This safety plays down on it. Okay. Right? Good good defense unless Jaden Daniels throws this post. Fine. Get yourself open. Right? This safety's going to crash down on this dig like he can. 
slide behind him, get open for your quarterback, and then you make a play. Nice chunk play. You're just going to run a nice crosser with tempo. Right, almost looks like he's jogging. We push vertically, plant that foot, make that break at the right time, keep this separation, and then undercut this chunk play. Here, this is beautiful versus, uh, versus the Gators. I mean, this out route is sweet, turning the hips of this corner. And he's playing with inside leverage, off and inside leverage. All right. Let's show like we're working inside. All right. Let's show we're working inside. Let's get his hips running because he wants to stop that crosser. Get his hips open. Bam. Plant. Turn outside. You're wide ass open. All right. Where a lot of guys will play this and they will run into this right here. They'll run it straight. Maybe they'll get some type of inside track. They won't use any tempo, and this cor this corner or safety will just be able to sit and then break. And it may even be a catch still, but he gets wide ass open. And now let's turn it into a yak play. Make a guy miss. Go, go, go. Right, and I, I'm just going to let the real play when we go through some yak plays because he can, like, that's just a, a, another element to his game. And he's like, does not want to go down ever. Right, break that one tackle. Fight through this. Fight. Get those extra four or five yards. Here versus Cushion. Right? This may not seem like anything crazy, and it's not. But you have this off corner. You do not want to give him anything to feel like he can go and play aggressive up on that. So we play it with tempo. We take every... And we throw this foot jab, right? Throw this foot jab to freeze this corner. Makes him think you're going to break inside. And again, that's the difference between a catch and a pass breakup. Right? All this stuff, freezing that corner is the difference between a catch and a pass breakup. You know, move move the chains. Here on this pick play, or, you know, rub route. You say, oh, well, he's wide open because of the rub route. Yes. We tempo ourselves. We don't give it away for this corner to where like, okay, I'm working over the top. Or for this corner to, you know, run that banjo switch coverage. We tempo ourselves. And we throw this little foot jab, right? See this left foot? Foot jab. Keep him honest. And that's how you get wide open touchdowns. That's how you don't let this corner cheat. Or let these corners alert that they need to switch their coverage. Little stuff like that. And where are we at the bottom of the screen? The curl routes, the curls and hitches. These are boring routes, right? But they are huge. They are huge first down movers on third down. Especially when you have the vertical threat that you are. We're releasing outside. We're trying to work. We're pressing vertically. Again. His ability to decelerate, go find the ball, first down, move the chains. Here, they're playing this off coverage, birds on a line, third and long, tempo it. Ball even comes out late. Tempo it. Don't let, these guys want to break on this, but you have that vertical put, you have that vertical threat. Right? But you tempo it. You get him on in seals even though that you're not running at full speed at this moment. Bam! Stop. We're here. I mean, the ball should have been there already at that point. <clears throat> but still make the catch. Another one. Challenge vertically. Stop. Go get a first down. Here versus zone. Find the hole. 
Work vertically. Get him now here to have to play this flat. Dip that shoulder. Find the hole. Make yourself open. And then you're going to get plays where, hey, you didn't do anything special, right? You didn't do anything special. Nothing about this is, is crazy. But we add the special to it. And this is the yak element of his game. A whole nother element to his game. Where you turn... You turn an eight-yard hitch on a bootleg into a touchdown. And let's, let's, I mean, let's just watch some of these yak plays. And we'll finish off. I'll just let some of his yak plays run while, while I kind of give my end conclusion. This is a guy who challenges all three levels, right? Whether it's vertically from the slot, and I, obviously he's going to be on, working on the outside in the NFL. You know, the intermediate game, I think there's so much nuance to his route running, and obviously there's room to grow there too. Uh, and then in the quick game, right? Just he's he's got he's got respect vertically, so he's going to be open on those things. And then he's going to be able to turn those into big yak plays, like that, like we're watching right now. And then you can use them in other manufactured touch ways too. So there's a reason why I think this guy is worthy of a top five pick, and I'm putting this on the Talking Giants channel because I I want him, I want him on the New York Giants. And if your team drafted him and you're watching this breakdown, you should be really happy because you've got yourself a stud. And Malik Neighbors. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, and then check out the Jam Football channel as well. See you on the next one.